It's a gateway to the pit, UNM South Campus and Isotopes Park, and it looks and feels very neglected. Potholes and cracks mar the streets around the I-25 Cesar Chavez interchange. And as News 13's Jeannie Nguyen found out, they haven't been paved in years. Jeannie. Jessica, drivers tell me they have to swerve to avoid hitting the large potholes here at this busy interchange. The DOT says they are aware of the problem. It's been that way for 10 plus years, probably longer. Crack after crack, pothole after pothole. Drivers who make the Cesar Chavez interchange at I-25 a part of their daily commute know the struggle. Tons of potholes. Every single time I turn onto the I-25 going north, my truck slides all over the place. Just, you know, pretty bad roads in general. Drivers say the problem has been there for decades, but the Department of Transportation says there's been a reason for the uptick in potholes recently. There have been some drainage issues going on. Water is ponding onto the roadway, and that's contributing to further deterioration of the roadways. Before any repaving projects are done in this area, the DOT says they need to figure out what's causing the drainage issues. We definitely don't want to waste the taxpayers' money by continuously pothole patching um, where there is a bigger problem at stake. The DOT is eyeing another I-25 interchange that might affect the future of Cesar Chavez, and construction could come as soon as 2024. We are going to be doing um, a Gibson interchange. They're going to reconstruct the bridges and the on and off ramps in that area, and it could go as far south as Sun port and uh, as far north as Cesar Chavez. Regardless of when these expensive projects come, drivers want the DOT to get a move on. I think this general corridor has been underserved for years, decades, uh, so I, you know, it needs to happen. It needs to happen sometime sooner than later. The, DOS, the DOT says most of the ramps here have not been paved in about 15 years. In the meantime, the crews will continue to fill pot, potholes and cracks. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Jeannie. And Cesar Chavez itself around the interchange is also the responsibility of the DOT. There are no plans to repave that either.